Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm going to give you my review of the Apple iPhone 4S. So in our review of the Apple iPhone 4S, we're going to focus on pretty much the main changes that have happened with the device. It's pretty much the same thing hardware-wise if you've seen before. You have the 3.5-inch retina display. You have the front-facing camera. You have the one button here, the main uh, menu button right here in the front, your home button. Here on the side, you have your lock switch, you have your volume button for plus and minus. Um, right here on this side, you, you have your, where your SIM card is located. And at the bottom, you have the uh, microphone and the speaker port, and then you have the proprietary dock connection there as well, too. At the top, you have the power button and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back, there's an 8 megapixel camera with a um, 1080p HD recording. That's one of the new things about the iPhone 4S. We did put the video up. It's a pretty nice video and pretty nice pictures coming out of it. Definitely an improvement over the original iPhone 4S camera. As you can see here on the back, they just have iPhone on it. So it doesn't say iPhone 4S or anything like that. So there's no way to really tell the difference between the iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. Overall, it's um, it's nice, solid um, metal build, very, very, very sturdy. Feels very good in the hand. It's a little weighted compared to a lot of devices that are coming out these days that are coming much lighter and much thinner, but it's still nice. And uh, we'll turn this on just like that. You can see here one of the bigger changes about the iPhone itself is iOS itself, and it's iOS 5 that's on here now. And one of the big changes is the lock screen. You can see here in the lock screen, we have. Um, we have some, sort of your notifications here in the front of it so it can let you know what emails. It gives you a little preview of the email as well too. And we can slide down the lock here. And one of the other cool neat things you swipe down. Similar to what you see in Android, you have the notification center. And right here at the top gives you the weather and it'll categorize it based upon what application takes advantage of the notification section. So you have mail, comic heroes, uh, messaging, all that stuff like that and you can go into each one or you can close out an entire group so let's say we're done with comic heroes just hit that X right there clears that group out completely and just by tapping on on a particular email it'll open that particular notification up there as you can see pretty cool there um, some some other um, different changes to the iOS uh, platform is Siri it's one of the big things about holding the home button down get the Siri application right there and what we'll do we'll do a quick test of it here yeah. <laughs> Took my, basically you can see right there it typed is out, we'll put up exactly what I said and what we'll do, we'll hold home again Siri yeah. Yes. you can see their response back to you and we'll say get me some pizza I found a number of pizza restaurants fairly close to you. You can see there, it can navigate you over there to it as well too. So um, I can do something similar to, to, to another command. You can say, Siri, remind me to take out the trash at 9 a.m. Here's your reminder for today at 9 a.m. You can see that right Shall there. Shall I create it? Ah, cancel. You can also create um, alarms as well too. Siri, wake me up in 15 minutes. I've set an alarm for 4:09 a.m. Okay, we'll just shut that alarm off so it doesn't go off randomly. But you kind of get the idea there with Siri. You can also have it search for different things. You can go, Siri, who is Steve Jobs? Checking on that for you. Okay, here you go. And you can see right there, it pulls up some information about that particular person and stuff like that as you see there. So that's pretty cool. And um, if it can't find something, let's say, uh, Siri, who won last night's baseball game? Something random like that. Searching for Siri won last night's baseball game. I uh, didn't get it exactly right, but it'll do. It'll basically, if you can't find something, it'll open up a Google search or ask if you want to Google search it there. So, serious, but pretty cool. But you kind of get the idea there and kind of how it works. And uh, another big thing here is also the Twitter integration. 
which is, which is really integrated into the system. You can see Twitter right here. We have our Twitter account in. And if we go to the Twitter app here, uh, I was going to tweet earlier. I did not, but you get the idea of uh, the settings and how integrated it is. You can do different customizations, notifications, which you can set up here as well, too. Really nice stuff. We'll hit done there. Go back here. And one of the cool things is, let's say we go into the photos, and now we go into the camera roll. Let's say we want to send... Uh, this particular photo here somewhere say you want to um, email it of some sort so we can go to hit there and you'll see where it says you can tweet it out so you have deep integration with Twitter here with it as well now alright now the cool thing is the camera application can show you how much that's changed and now you have options right here there isn't any options to turn image stabilization on or off but you get the auto on and off for the flash you can switch between the cameras right here just like that Put your back here, I'll swipe down to the camera. You get options for grid and HDR added on there to it as well. And you just snap a shot like that, and it's done just like that. So, pretty much pretty simple camera, simple, easy to use, what Apple's known for. Another nice thing on here as well, we'll go back into the settings, is the iCloud service, which is basically a cloud service for all your your mail. If you choose to use mail, you actually have to create a, a dot an at me account to do that. But you have contacts, calendar, reminders, bookmarks, syncs all that up to Apple's iCloud services. You can have storage and backup where this will automatically back up your camera roll account, document settings, Wi-Fi, you know, um, um, settings and other things like that. And you can do it when it connected with Wi-Fi and stuff too. So that's pretty cool to make it a little bit faster there for you. And um, that's pretty much it for like a lot of the main differences and features. It does have an A5 dual core processor inside of it, so it's a lot it's a lot faster. But I never found iOS to be too, too slow. It does also have a dual chip in here, it's CDMA and GSM. This is activated for AT&T using GSM, and on GSM it does have HSPA Plus at 14.4 megabits. To be honest with you, I really don't see the speed with that. I've tried it here in Boston, and a lot of the speed tests have really been nothing but uh, just slow as you can see here in the number of tests we got one instance on Wi-Fi when we got up that high but any other time using cell phone, using the cell towers it's just not gotten as fast as you would expect it to be so don't expect this to be a true 4G phone in that matter but um, you can see there it's the iPhone it's pretty much what you expect from before with a few improvements and upgrades which are nice upgrades it would have been nice if the Apple would have increased maybe the screen size on it here to 4 inches but and maybe made a little bit thinner, but you can see it's sort of just that in place upgrade where the 3G to 3GS was. This is the iPhone 4 to 4S, pretty much the same way it's going about upgrading here. So, what I recommend this for, I recommend this for anybody that currently has a 3G or a 3GS to upgrade to this phone. You'll definitely see the improvements there. If you currently have an iPhone 4, you're pretty much okay. Um, if you're on Sprint, iPhone 4S is definitely an option to take because you guys never had the iPhone before. And if you waited on Verizon to get the iPhone 4, if you're a new one to come out, the iPhone 4S is definitely the one to get here. So, this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also check out our full write-up with pictures as well too. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.